Hello, it's Raymond Aaron, New York Times top 10 bestselling author. And what do I have in front of my face? I have a little card. And the card says womeninpowerevent.com. And that's what I want to talk to you about. Women in power. You know, it's really interesting that these days there are men who run businesses and there are women who run businesses, but there's something quite exciting happening. And that's that businesses run by women are actually making more money than businesses run by men. Businesses run by women have fewer vacancies, uh, bankruptcies than businesses run by men. So what is it? Why are women doing better these days? Why are women in power? For thousands and thousands and thousands of years, men have been in power. Why are women suddenly in power now? You might say, well, women rule the home and all that stuff, but women have always ruled the home. What's going on? What's different now? What is different? And the answer is that I don't know. Yes, I do. I actually do know. So there is an event coming up in which I'm going to be spending two entire days teaching you and teaching you and teaching you the exact reasons why women are doing well these days and way better than men in business. And there's simple reasons. And then who should attend this event? Well, if you're a woman, you darn well better attend the event because women are doing better these days than men in business and you need to learn what your advantage is so you can take advantage of it. Okay, we got six people on the line and I've only been on the line for one and a half minutes. Facebook Live is really, really exciting. If you're on the line now, then you're probably interested in why women are doing better in business, but maybe you're a guy. So what you want to know is how can you catch up? Well, men, you better figure it out because for thousands of years, we men have been ahead of women in business, but now the tides have turned. We better find out how women are doing better. We better find out why women are doing better. We better find out exactly what their advantages are so we can copy them, not be feminine, but learn what it is that they know and that they do so that we can be good in business too. So I've invited some of the most famous women speakers in the entire world for two jam-packed days. Amazing. It's going to be amazing. And the best speaker that I've got, the most exciting speaker that I have at womeninpowerevent.com. It's a, a live event in Toronto. Let me move my finger there so you can see it. You can find out all the details at womeninpowerevent.com. But you'll notice that it's in Toronto on the weekend, Saturday, Sunday of June 11, 12. Oops, it says 2017. I meant 2016, isn't that silly? I better correct it right now. Oh my gosh, I feel so silly. And I'm gonna let you see me correct it. Here we go. Can you see it right there? I hope you can see it right there. It's 20... 16, 2016, there, yeah, 2016, there it is, 2016, that was silly, I made a change live, wow, that's exciting, so Marcy Shimoff is going to be one of the speakers, and Marcy Shimoff is amazing, she's in the top five all-time best-selling female nonfiction writers of all time, of all time. If you lined up every single woman who's ever published a book and line them up in order of who's published the most books, Marcy Shimoff has published more, not published, has, has sold more books. She's published about 10 books. And in total, the number of individual pieces of book that she sold is, oh my God, in the tens of millions. She's amazing. And she's going to be coming and she is just, I love her so much. She was in the movie, The Secret and you're, you, you'll just love her. But also, I've got other spe special guests coming, and I'm actually gonna go to my own website in order to check to see who all of the special guests are, because I don't wanna leave anybody out. So right now, I'm typing in women in power event womeninpowerevent.com. I don't want to leave anybody out. Come on. It's, it's getting ready to load right now. And who am I? My name is Raymond Aaron, New York Times top 10 bestselling author. And there you can see the lineup. Let me make sure. Yeah, there you can see the lineup 
on my website. There I am on the left. Sharon Lecter wrote practically every one of Robert Kiyosaki's books. There's Marcy Shimoff in the beginning, uh, in the middle. Karen and Elisa Minkus, you'll love them. Cheryl Chapman, a fellow Canadian. She teaches people how to brand themselves with their book. And so that's a lineup of just the most amazing women. The two biggest ones likely will be Marcy Shimoff, who wrote eight Chicken Soup for the Soul books. She basically wrote every single Chicken Soup for the Soul book for women, like Chicken Soup for the Mother Soul and Chicken Soup for the Grandmother Soul and Chicken Soup for the Mother and Daughter Soul, books like that. She wrote every one of them. And Sharon Lecter wrote just about every Robert Kiyosaki book. So I've got two, actually one, two, three, four of the most powerful women in the world coming to my event. And the most powerful women in the world will be in attendance like you. So who is it for? It's for you if you're a woman and you want to get into business. It's for you if you are a woman who's already in business. And so in both of those cases, you're going to want to know how to stay ahead of the game. And if you're a man, you'd better be there because women are totally trouncing us. Women are totally trouncing us. Men run businesses have more vacancies, more bankruptcies, and men run businesses have lower profitability than women run businesses. We gotta change this, guys. We gotta figure it out. So to register, to register, you simply go to womeninpowerevent.com. Womeninpowerevent.com. And you'll see a page that looks kind of like this. In fact, it'll look exactly like that. Hopefully you can see that. And it's in Toronto. And it is June 11, 12, this year, 2016, in Toronto. Fly, drive, canoe, boat, crawl, whatever you have to do, but you get there. Why? Because I hold amazing events, but I've only held ever once, I've only once ever held a woman in power event, and it was jammed. It was last year in December, and it was amazing. And this year we expect to have an even more amazing one because we have an even more powerful lineup of the most powerful women speakers in the world. You need to be there, guys, because you don't want women to trounce you any longer. And women, you need to be there in order to find out what your advantage is so that you can stay ahead of the game. And here's a funny thing that I learned from my friend, Dr. Ivan Meisner, who is the CEO and founder of BNI, Business Networking International, the largest referral organization in the world. And what he said is that there's three steps, A, B, C, to making a sale. There are three steps, A, B, C, to making a sale. A is you meet somebody new. B is you form a relationship with them. And then C is that you make a sale. A, you meet someone. B, you form a relationship. C, you make a sale. Well, what women do is A, B. Women do A, B. They meet someone and they start chatting and they... Women are, as a general statement, I'm not being a racist or sexist or whatever the rule is. This is a result of a study that BNI conducted of tens of thousands of people. And it's written up in, in Dr. Ivan Meisner's latest book, Networking and Sex. And that's a more dramatic title than it needs to be. It's not really networking and sex. It's networking and gender, like how do men network differently than women. And what they found in the study, so it's not, it's real. It's not just my opinion or I'm old fashioned or I'm sexist or something like that. It's none of that. This is the results of the study. It's the actual results of the study. And what they said, what they noticed was that women do A, B. They meet somebody and they form a relationship with them. But then women, for some reason, are afraid to ask for the sale. They would get the sale for sure because they know so much about the person, they know exactly what the person wants. But somehow, as a general statement, based on the survey results, women don't ask for the sale. And so men, all the women have to do is just learn how to ask for the sale. Men, our problem is much worse, much, much worse, and much harder to cure. Men do a C. They meet someone and ask for the sale. Hi, you wanna buy a car? Hi, you wanna buy insurance? Hi, you wanna buy a house? So men just go straight from meeting a person to trying to grab a sale. They don't care if it's not appropriate. Men just go for it. I'm just telling you the results of the survey. By the way, oh, J. Adam Arsenault says, the wife should be done here, her book by then, or will she have the baby? <laughs> I don't know if she'll have a book or a baby, 
but uh, but Adam, I'd love her to be there, and she can have her book launch there, and you need to be there no matter what. Steal two days away from her, and go make sure if she's having her baby, then you make sure you're there because she needs to have those answers. So if you if you're on the line now, just make make uh, comments. And if you're listening to this by replay, then leave your comments on Facebook underneath here. And the important thing is that men do AC. Hi, you want to buy a car? Hi, you want to buy insurance? Hi, you want to buy something? Hi, you want to buy flowers? Like whatever guys sell, they just jump in and say you want to buy it. Well, the problem is that for men to correct it, it's tough. Because let's say a guy comes up to someone and says, hi, you want to buy a car? And the person says, no, I just bought a car a few weeks ago. I'm not in the market for another five years. Well, then the guy has to cycle back to B to form a relationship, to find out how else he could serve that person. So it, it sounds silly. It'd be like this. Hi, you want to buy a car? No, I just bought a car. Oh, how many kids do you have? Like, it, it doesn't make any sense. But if a woman forms a relationship with someone, oh, you have two kids. Oh, one of them goes to the school I went to. Oh, isn't that wonderful? So they chat, they get to know each other, they love each other, they have a relationship, they have a, a affinity. And if the woman then says, well, how can I help you? The woman says, well, I'm not sure. I bought a new car, so I don't need that. And, uh, and we, we're happy with our home. But you know what? There is something I, could, I would really look, look for help in. Well, if the woman sells cars, but she can help that new found friend in some other way, they are dear friends for life. And five years later, she's going to get a car sale. So Adam says, I'll be there supporting her in any way possible. We'll both see you at Rares. Oh, great. Great. Thank you. That, I, love, I love that. Thank you. I've just liked you. So men do AC. Hi, you want back car? And women do, hi. You know, where do you live? Where do you go to school? Where do your kids go to school? And they form relationships. And the rule is ABC. That's what we're... Meet someone, form a relationship, ask for the sale. That's what it should be, but people don't do that. So let me just remind you, I, Raymond Aaron, New York Times top 10 best-selling author. I've been in business 33 years helping people around the world create their wealth. And I'm holding an event that's called Women in Power. It's going to be in Toronto. When you register, you'll get the actual hotel. And womeninpowerevent.com is where you go to register. And the page will look like this. See that page? That's what it'll look like. There's our beautiful logo at the top. And register for it. Take VIP if you wish. At VIP, what you do, that's really powerful. You get photographs with the, with the heavyweights. You get photographs with those amazing speakers. And those, those photographs will really brand you. So I highly recommend you attend. I highly recommend that you attend as VIP. Go to womeninpowerevent.com, womeninpowerevent.com. Register for the weekend of June 11 and 12, 2016 in Toronto. My events sell out. All my events sold out. My annual event is called Create Your Own Economy and we just held it recently. It sold out. I am holding a cruise in May and that completely sold out. I had a retreat last year in Bali, it completely sold out. I had a retreat the year before that in Panama, it completely sold out. My events sell out. So go to that website, womeninpowerevent.com, read about it and grab your opportunity. The, the VIP fee is way lower than you'd have to pay VIP normally because I like to keep my, my tuitions low so that you can get in effortlessly. I love you, leave a comment and I'll answer it in Facebook. And I look forward to seeing you there, Women in Power, a live event in Toronto, local Toronto hotel, drive, fly, there. a lot of people will be flying in for it. At the last event I held, our annual Create Your Own Economy event, 13 people flew in from England to Toronto just for that. It was really, it was a powerful, a powerful event. So I'll see you there, womeninpowerevent.com in Toronto, the weekend of June 11, 12, Saturday and Sunday. Can't wait to see you there. Women, you gotta be there to know what your advantage is so you can maintain your advantage and keep it strong. Men, you gotta be there to find out why women are trouncing you so you can stop taking a licking and start, not beating them, but start doing well like women are doing. Okay, see you at Women in Power.